Congratulations. All right, God bless. Take care. Thanks. And welcome back, fight fans. Raj, give us your comments on that uh, quickly on that cruiserweight title fight. We well, had it all wrong. We had it all wrong. Well, well not, not really. really all wrong. No, Raj. It was a close. Now we both of us thought it was pretty even, and uh, it ended up that the judges saw it, that story won most of the round, which is fine. I mean, when you're scoring, you know, one judge scores an even, an even round. The other guy gives it to one of the fighters. Hey, the rounds pile up that way, and one judge saw it. Story winning all eight rounds, which is a bit of a surprise. Which but is a bit of a surprise. Yeah. He, he's definitely going to be a good champion, and uh, I think it's great for boxing, great, great for Moncton. I do too. Up to Gary Maxwell for the ring announcements here for our next fight. to the ring. Yeah, uh, I guess here he comes now, Raj, and I gotta tell you, this is a big guy. Definitely a big boy. He's tipped the scales at 274 pounds. That's a big dude. That's a big dude, is right. Uh, of course, uh, Dean looks to be in good shape. Dean's always trim, ready to fight. He's similar to his brother, he's another big puncher, eh? Yeah. Known as the Gentleman. Dean Story, that's his, his new fighting name or his nickname, The Gentleman. Well, if he fights and he's got respect anything like his brother Dwayne, I would have to say that's probably a good, uh, oh, yeah, good analogy both, of him, Russ. Yeah, both good boys, good guys, likable guys. Yeah, there's Minter in there right now. And, uh, well, Raj, what can you say about... Uh, how about his stature and his build? Uh, of course, you can't really take anything for granted. Uh, it's hard to say what this guy brings to the table as far as, uh, as, far as fighting skills go. That's right. First round knockout. That was impressive. Crucified the man, I guess. Crucified him. Very impressive. And the fans like this guy. He's becoming a big fan favorite everywhere he goes. So we're going to have to keep an eye on uh, Dean Story. I agree with you, Roger. Uh, most impressive looking uh, young man. Uh, seems to be in good shape. And uh, he's big. He is big. Very big. Well, well proportioned. Well proportioned athlete. Big legs, too, Rog. That's where all that power comes from. You're right. Yep. Joe Frazier had the big legs. Yeah. And uh, Dean Story's got big legs. Yeah. We know Frazier had a lot of power. Uh, Derek Minter out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, like we said earlier, is tipping skills at 274. He's a big boy. Uh, record, five wins, two losses, one draw, four knockouts to his credit. And they tell me, Raj, this guy's never been off his feet by nobody. That's what they've told me as well. That's, that's what uh, the card is on him. Never been off his feet. 
his uh, trainer, manager, Bob Miller. Uh, what else got that with Derek? He likes to get in your face. He's that kind of guy. You're going to see him. He's going to be right there. He's, he's in there to stay. And uh, Raja, uh, promoter, matchmaker, Paul DeWaren is telling us this will probably be Dean's toughest test yet. Yeah, he said uh, this guy's not going to fall over, apparently. You know, he's, he's, there. he's uh, there for real. And don't let his, uh, don't let his uh, appearance deceive anybody. That's right. I mean, he, he's, uh, he's a pretty thick boy. Uh, like you say, you can't let appearance fool you. Some of these guys that are built like Minter can take a good beating. Yeah. You know, that's a lot of weight. I think he's uh, five foot ten. Well, that's, he's carrying a, a, a Rem lot of extra weight. Reminiscent of, uh, well, maybe not quite so much midriff, but uh, perhaps Randall Tech Cobb, if he's as tough as him. Dean Story's in for a... Uh, yeah, Cobb was never built that way, but that was one tough guy. That's right. Well, he was a big guy, Raj. Robust, as I said, not as big around the midriff, but, uh, and a little taller, but uh, okay. a tough guy just the same. Well, we see they're getting the instructions from the referee right now as we begin the great round heavyweight fight, semi-final bout. Shaping up to be a good one, definitely, Raj. All the uh, all the bouts so far in the card, I think, have been uh, been good uh, good fights. Uh, I'll take my hat off to uh, promoter matchmaker Paul DeWaron. He's done a good job of lining up some good fights. Uh, fairly evenly matched guys. Uh, uh, they're coming in here and uh, trying to impress the fans. Among yeah, them. yeah. Paul's done a real good job matching these guys up. They've all been evenly matched bouts. So let's see what happens here with Story and Mental. Story's coming right after him, right off the bat, Rod, trying to lead and follow up with the right hand. That was a wild attempt at a right hand. Yeah, I don't, uh, don't, I don't, these story boys, they must have all learned to fight with their hands down, Rod. Uh, <laughs> something I don't necessarily agree with, but like uh, we've uh, stated before, uh, everybody has their own style. Yeah, and that's right. you got to look at the individuality of these guys' styles, and uh, it works for the story boys. You know, yeah, it seems to. successful, so you're looking at his brother, Dwayne, cruiserweight champion now, the yeah. time. Yeah. It worked for him. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think this guy is a... Uh, oh, Story really nailing and uh, nailing uh, Mentor with some vicious body big shots. Big punches, Roger. you're right. Those are big, heavy punches. And I mean, these <laughs> these aren't little short shots, Roger. These no, are no, no, loop, big looping uh, right big. hands to the body. Yeah, as they say from left field, they, and when those land, they land with a lot of authority. A lot of authority. Well, Story seems to be having his way with Mentor up to this point. Seems to be. Uh, Mentor seems to be trying to work his way down lower inside. Uh, perhaps he figures he can get in and do a little bit of damage on the inside, perhaps, yeah. uh, since uh, Story has such a tremendous reach advantage over him in height as well. That's right. That, that has to be his game plan. He should be getting down low and trying to get in inside that power. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a nice left hook by yeah. Mentor, Roger. Yeah, a good short left hook to the head, and uh, Story saw that. But once again, Story's right there in his face. Working the jab, he's got to work that. That's a good weapon. It's a great hand by Mentor. Glancing low, Story moves with it. Good combination good by Story. Good combination, right to the heart. Straight right hand to the bottom, yep. You know, Dean's working his jab quite well here. He is too, yeah. Oh, looks to have oh, hurt Big body shot, yep. big body shot, Rod. Mentor grabs and ties him up. You're going to feel him, Roger, when you're carrying that kind of weight. Oh, yeah, for sure. Big guy, eh? Hey? You're looking at over 500 pounds of flesh in that ring right now. Yeah. Well, actually, closer to 700 if you're going to count the referee, but like, <laughs> he, he's doing a whole lot of speed right now. Yeah, that's right, Roger. Yeah. And he's a lot better looking than the other two guys, I think. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Uh, i got to tell you something. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's easy enough to see, Roger, that this mentor guy's been in a fight before. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, I've noticed that uh, the, the, the right hand that the story is popping through, mentor's right over the top of it with a, trying to score with a left hook. So, uh, you know, you can't take nothing away from the guy. Maybe he's uh, finished in his heyday or, you know, well, maybe he doesn't do an excessive a lot of training. But You've got to give him credit, you know. The guy's at a big disadvantage with that height. He's like 5 foot 10 and the weight he's carrying. He's got a big disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, he scores a big Jordan left hook, right, right, right on the, the bell. Yeah, right on the button. That was good. He looks a little tired, though, Ted. a little tired, Rod. Just sucking for air. You've got to be sucking for some air. Uh, you get in there and move around and carry that kind of weight. That's that's a lot of weight on a, on a small frame. Uh, that's right. 5'10 for a heavyweight is very small. Yeah, well, unless you're a Mike Tyson or a Rocky Marciano, well, yeah. these guys, you know, were always cut up and look like they've been chiseled out of stone. Yeah, tip-top shape. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, chiseled right out of the rock. Uh, Mentor, on the other hand, it's hard to say, you know, maybe he's uh, just carrying a little bit of that weight uh, 
Give him something to burn off as the fight progresses. Well, that, that's, that's certainly possible, too. He could be trying to uh, negate the, the big advantage, disadvantage he has in height. Because uh, uh, your, your, yeah, your, uh, your average heavyweight is always uh, usually six feet or better. That's right. And, uh, as we look over in uh, Storage Carnival, those as trainer George Warren giving instructions, we also see Bobby LeBlanc. That is uh, local cut man, Bobby. He's been working around the fight Working the corners for a long time. Long time. Around, yeah. yeah, I'd say at least the last 15 years or so. Good corner man. Yeah, good corner man. Good guy, Bobby, too. Yep. Well, Story's got uh, some good boys in his corner. You can be sure, uh, you can be sure that if Mentor came from Philadelphia, he's probably got some decent guys in his corner, too. I'm uh, sure he does. Big, big, big fight capital down there. That's we right. don't know that's where Rocky's from. If that means anything or not, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you may have to find a Rocky Balboa type puncher tonight. Yeah. I think Story out because uh, up till now, it's been all Dean Story. Yeah, it has been all the Dean Story, too. Yeah. Story hasn't even broke a sweat and Mentor looks to be a little bit tired. Uh, I can't really see it going eight rounds, Rog, in my honest opinion. Uh, uh, the, the guy might never be off his feet, but uh, uh, i got to tell you, it's, uh, it's tough when you get in there carrying that kind of weight. Yeah, well, it's a oh, that's nice right hand by Story, and he scores another one. That's right. Mentor, Mentor uh, hanging right in there. He, he gets hit and he tries to throw one right back. That's right, yeah, you can definitely take a good shot. He's never been out of his feet, but there's always a first time for everything. Always a first time for everything, yeah. When you're up against a puncher like Dean Story, hey. When, you, when, they, when, 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 when we bring guys like this in from uh, from the U.S., Raj, uh, uh, you know, places like Philadelphia, New York, and stuff like that, it's hard to know who these guys have even trained that's with, right. or they could be sparring partners for some of the best heavyweights in the world, so you really that's, don't know. That's right. We've seen a lot of our local guys fight world-ranked fighters that, you know, we weren't sure of, but... That's part of the fight game. You just, like you said, you don't always know who, who it is you're going up against That's right. or what the background is. I gotta tell you, Rod, Dean Story is impressing me. Other than carrying his hands too low, he's got a very snapping left jab when he throws it. Like that. He's got a real nice jab. A lot of authority behind it. Tremendous, uh, tremendous power. I don't really think he's really nailed Mentor yet with a with a good hard shot, but nope. uh, he, he's really really uh, showing him uh, lots of different angles and a very good jab. That's right. He's in control of this fight. There's no doubt about that. Hard to work inside too when you're a big guy like uh, like Dean Story. He's yeah, well, tall. He's got long arms. That's right. You see, Story is trying to work inside, and uh, Mentor will tie him up very well. Very well, yeah. You can tell the guys fought before, right? right. No trouble to see that. Yep. Story, well. Story tries with a short chop and right yeah, hand. Yeah, a few well punches there by Mentor on the, on the inside. That was a little bit of a looping right hand to the body. Flat. Yeah. Oh, Story's really, really teeing off on his body, Rod. Yeah, he knows where to work the big man. That's your meal ticket right there. That's it, yeah. Because apparently Mystic can take a good shot to the head, so why not work that body? Why not work that body? Carrying a few excess pounds there, he's not going to perhaps take as good a shot. Uh, that's right. To somebody that's really nice. And there, Mentor scores with the left and the right. Uh, Mentor scored with the left and it looked like a right elbow. <laughs> yeah, it could have been a right elbow too, Rod. Yeah. Definitely moved uh, Dean Story's head. Very awkward fighter. Very awkward fighter, Raj. Uh, he's not. Uh, he's not one of them fighters that uh, is going to make everybody look good. No, you're right. He's the kind of guy that he kind of. He's the kind of guy that can really make you look bad. Look bad. Very awkward. Uh, oh, geez, Mentor took about four good shots to the head, but didn't look to fizz him a whole lot. He's still stuck in a little bit of wind. Having a little bit of trouble with his breathing. We almost have. Question is conditioning at this point in time, but still too early in the fight to tell. Still too early in the fight to tell, Raj. Like we say, uh, uh, we, we've, both, we've both seen some uh, pretty big fighters, uh, robust guys, uh, perhaps uh, say uh, George Foreman's size. Now, this, this uh, gentleman is certainly not in George Foreman's class, mm -hmm. but uh, Foreman carries a lot of excess weight as well and, and does it quite well. So. Yeah, George carries the weight well. He's, he's a big man to begin with, you know, 6'3, yeah. 6'4. Six, but I, I'd say Minter's more in the mold of a Jumbo Cummings or a Doughboy Bridges that you've seen these guys fight on TSN, yeah, you know, yeah, HBO. Yeah. Man, these guys fight like that all the time, Rod. That's and they're, right. And they're, and they're good fighters, Tony you know? They're, yeah, they're you know, decent fighters, you decent know? Fighters, that's right. You really can't take nothing away from them. Uh, no, no, size really, you, it, it, it's... Uh, every, it's everybody's built different. Uh, you, you got a big uh, bone, uh, bone, uh, bone structure, structure around yeah. your hips and stuff. It, right. It's hard to shed a lot of that weight. Yeah. And the metabolism could be, you know... And the guy's got big legs too, Rod. So yeah. you, we don't really know how hard he hits. He's coming up around three, gentlemen. Stop the fight. That's, uh, stop the fight. He's all done. Well, Rod, uh, when you said it at the end of that fight that he was sucking gas, I guess he was sucking quite a bit. Yeah, he didn't. Uh, he didn't look too healthy after round two. It almost looked like his cornerman threw him on his stool and set him down. Yeah. It looked really like sure. he didn't want to sit down at first, but. Yeah. Well. 
You run into steam, you run into steam, Raj. I got to tell you, Dwayne, Dean Story and this crowd can do what they like, but Dean Story hit him with some vicious, vicious shots to the body. Yeah, that's Mitchell going to slow anybody down. Mitchell took some good body shots in that second round, and uh, he absorbed a fair amount of headshots as well. Yes. So there you have it, Dean Story, the gentleman Dean Story, wins it up. Another W under the W column, Raj. That's right. He upped his record to three one and one as a pro with a. Uh, Third round TKO win over Derek Minder of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, Raja, tell me something uh, you might know a little bit better than me. I guess we'll wait and go up to the uh, ring announcer, Gary Mack, for the official with this. Now, Roger, will you know a little more? We will. Uh, we'll 